Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I will be creating this full coverage neutral glam makeup look and I will be using clean, vegan and cruelty free products. All the products are from Indian brands, so these are easily available in India. Before we move forward, a huge thanks to Daughter Earth for sponsoring a part of this video. I was not going to do a full coverage and full glam makeup look like this, like with lashes and all, but you can actually achieve a full coverage and full glam makeup look using clean, vegan and cruelty free products products so i want to show you that in today's video now i did my full base makeup using cream concealers using the daughter earth cream concealers and i really really like these concealers especially if you have irritated skin or redness or anything like that these are full full coverage and these are not going to irritate your skin that's all i want to say now let's get into the video i'm starting with a primer for which i will be using the bellora paris hydrating primer i will be applying it all over my face for my base, I will be using the Daughter Earth Concealers. These are cream concealers and I will be using them as foundation, cream contour and concealer in today's video. I will be using this to cover imperfections as a base and to give dimension to my face. You need to activate these concealers before application. For that, rub the concealer slowly in circular motion with a brush or your fingers to melt it. Use the concealers only after melting. These concealers contain phytoretinol that works on dark spots and uneven skin tone, spillates extra that helps relax fine lines and wrinkles. These concealers are suitable for all skin types, even dry skin. It's 100% vegan, medium buildable and has a no water formula. This also comes in a sustainable PCR packaging. The concealer has 5 shades. The shade reference is visible on the screen. I will be mixing the shades Latte and Cappuccino to use as foundation. These are cream concealers but they blend really easily into the skin. Make sure that you either use a foundation brush or your fingers to blend out this product. For cover during pigmentation, I will be using the shade Latte and I am going to apply it around my mouth where I have hyperpigmentation. It easily covers pigmentation, acne spots and blemishes. It also sits really well on top of textured and dry skin. These do not settle in the fine lines. You obviously need to set it with a powder. I am using the same shade to cover my dark circles as well. These are super pigmented concealers. You need to use very little. I am using little extra product here since I am doing a full glam look. For highlighting the center of my face, I will be using the shade Frappe. This is one shade lighter than latte. I will be placing it between my eyebrows on my forehead, under my eyes and on my chin. After this, I will be using the shade Mocha for cream contouring. These concealers perform really well with a brush. As you can see, it just melts into your skin. It is a very creamy formula, but it's very easy to blend it out. For liquid blush, I will be using Ilana B Tint Beetroot Pigmented Lip and Cheek Tint. I will be applying it on my cheekbones and blending it in with the foundation brush. This is extremely pigmented and it gives a very deep pink shade to your cheeks or your lips wherever you apply it. You can build it slowly. For setting my face, I will be using the IBA Perfect Look Longwear Mattifying Compact in the shade Medium Shell. I will be applying it under my eyes and around my mouth, also a little bit on my forehead. Now, IBA is a halal certified brand. I included these clean products in today's video because I noticed that some of you guys wanted me to try these brands. Whether you want to use clean products or not is completely your choice. I'm not making this video to tell you that you should use only clean products. Alright, so for my eyebrows, I will be using the Sugar Arch Rival Microbrow Pencil in Jerry Brown. Now this product is vegan and cruelty free. This also has no paraben and sulfate. I don't know whether that's considered clean or not, but that's what's mentioned on their website. After this, I will be using the Daughter Earth Concealer in Frappe as my eyeshadow base. The eye look is very simple today. I just used two shades on my eyes. First will be the contour shade from the Sugar Contour Deforce Palette in Fierce Feet. I'm using a blending brush to apply it all over my crease and buff it out on the outer corner of my eyes. After that, I will be using a tapered brush to focus some more color into my crease and build it up. 
I love sugar palettes because they come in a sturdy, sustainable packaging. I have dropped my palettes a few times but the shades remain unaffected. Now I will be running the same contour shade on my lower lash line. This makes the whole eye look more cohesive. For my eyelid, I will be using Disguise Cosmetics eyeshadow stick in Gold Daydream. This is a beautiful copper gold shade that blends seamlessly with the contour shade I applied as transition into my crease. It's very pigmented and it is a multi-use product. It can also be used as highlighter and lip topper. I'm applying it on the eyelid and blending it in with the transition shade. The eyeliner I will be using is the Biotech Stargaze Matte Eyeliner in Charcoal Black. I am not sure if this eyeliner is vegan but I am sure that it's cruelty free because that was mentioned in the product description. On Biotech's official Instagram page it is mentioned that all of their products are vegan so I did consider this as vegan. For mascara, I will be using the Kiro Botanico Super Shield Mascara and I'm applying a single coat of this mascara because I will be applying false eyelashes today. Um, for false eyelashes, I will be using the Beauty List False Eyelashes. The style is going to be in the description box. These are super affordable. These are made of synthetic fiber. These are the most beautiful lashes I've ever used at this price point. For powder contour, I will be using the same shade that I applied as transition on my eyes. That is from the Sugar Contour Force Fierce Feet Palette. And I am going to use the same palette for my blush as well. This is a very vibrant blush, so go easy with it. I applied too much on my left side, then I had to share it down. I mean, you can share it down if you apply a lot, but it's a lot of work. For setting my face, I will be using the Seri Set It All Setting Mist. And that's a lot of setting in one sentence. For my highlighter, I'm using the Kiro Prism Perfect Highlighter. I am applying it on the high points of my face. That is on my cheekbones and on the tip of my nose, inner corner. I'm not applying it on my cupid's bow because that area is a little bit irritated and I don't want to highlight that texture. Now ultimately for my lips, I will be using a combination of shades from Simply Numb. This has become my favorite nude lip shade combo. First I will be applying the shade Brown Sugar all over my lips. This is such a beautiful neutral brown nude. And these lipsticks have the most moussey texture. The application is super easy. The wand will not tug your lips and I like everything about this lipstick. The finish is powder matte and it's very lightweight. After Brown Sugar I will be applying the shade Pink Brown on the center of my lips. That's it for the video. This is the completed look. I love how this look turned out. I also want to show you how this makeup looks in natural light because you know this is all studio lighting. So it makes everything look a little bit more different than how it looks in natural light. That's obvious I mean. So yeah here is a clip of how this makeup looks in natural light. And let me remind you that makeup is going to look like makeup. It's gonna look like you have applied something on your skin that's sitting on top of your skin. So yes I really enjoyed filming today's video. I I hope that you guys liked it. If you did, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.